Monster Jam World Finals expanding to two days. Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live breaks records. All of this and more is coming up on this week's edition of Monster Truck News. Topping the news today is the confirmation that Monster Jam World Finals 24 will expand to two days. The event in Salt Lake City will be taking place on July 4th and July 5th, taking a different direction to the last two World Finals. Since leaving Orlando, each World Finals has been a single day event. And while this does harken back to old events, it has provided some challenges, most notably with the track and its effect on other competitions. The freestyle track usually suffers lacking in any oomph because the racing track is so creative and different. Hopefully now, however, they can dedicate a day to racing and skills and another for high jump and freestyle, with the possibility of maybe a limited access for qualifying and last chance qualifier. Whatever the case is, this will for sure make next year's event all the more interesting. And I'm very excited to learn more about this event. After the conclusion of the exciting Hot Wheels Master Trucks Live Australian Tour, news broke of the tour breaking some big Australian records. The tour sold a staggering 140,000 tickets over the course of the four weeks, setting the record for the most tickets sold in Australia for an indoor motorsports event. The record was set in Sydney and was later broken the following day. Considering this tour hasn't even touched Australian soil until just a few weeks ago, this is absolutely astonishing news. It's clear us Aussies have welcomed Hot Wheels with open arms, and I expect the tour to make a return next year with possibly an even bigger bigger tour than this year. A huge congratulations to the team over at Hot Wheels Master Trucks Live for setting these impressive records. Continuing on with Hot Wheels, a surprising announcement came from a familiar game studio as Game Mill Entertainment has announced that they will be releasing a Hot Wheels Master Trucks video game called Stunt Mayhem. The game, which will release on October 18th of this year on all consoles and Steam, will feature some of the stars of the Hot Wheels Master Trucks Live Tour, as well as featuring some of Hot Wheels' original trucks like Rhino Mai and Loco Punk. It's described to have thrilling boss battles, competing in head-to-head -head racing, and performing crazy tricks, or wiggling by the looks of it. We also mentioned its publisher is Game Mill Entertainment, the studio behind some of Master Jam's most infamous games, such as Battlegrounds and Crush It. Even uttering that is giving me nightmares. I will say that it's good that they aren't treating it like an authentic Master Truck experience, because it definitely does not resemble that. However, it does look like an extremely arcadey, fun type game, and I'm all for that. Hopefully too, it will be cheap because it definitely does not deserve to cost as much as Master Jam Showdown. What do you think of Hot Wheels Master Trucks Stunt Mayhem? Let us know down below. One of Australia's iconic Master Trucks has taken new ownership and re-debuted just a few weeks ago at Lismore Speedway. The Australian Master Patrol, formerly owned by Mark Gilbert, is still kicking and re-debuted alongside Schizo under the own ownership of Matthew McCormack. I spoke to Matt about how he came to get into the world of Master Trucks as well as buying the iconic Master Patrol truck. Matt has a history of motorsports, being a mechanic in the Australian Supercars series for 17 years with teams like Gary Rogers and Kelly Racing. He entered into the Master Truck industry after purchasing the Barefoot Ride truck from Simon O'Neill, the owner of the Bush Ranger truck from Facebook Marketplace. From there, he would later purchase the Thor truck from Simon as well and converting it into Schizo. After the tragic passing, of Speedway legend and Mazda truck veteran Mark Gilbert, his family listed the truck for sale which Matt took possession of. This also included the Buster Ride truck, which was owned by Gilbert as well. I also spoke to Matt about the future of the truck, and I am happy to report that there are plans to keep the name and redesign it to look closer to its United States counterpart. If you'd like to see more or find out about Matt's team, visit their website at info at mastertrucksaustralia.com.au or check out their Instagram page at Master Trucks Australia. Yet another iconic team screen 
Team Identity will be returning very soon. Wrecking Crew will be driven by Chris Kohler in a number of weeks in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. First debuting in late 2005, Wrecking Crew has become a staple of Team Scream until 2018, where the truck began running sparse appearances. Since 2020, the truck has not run at all until now. I assume that this will be run on top of Chris's Brutus chassis. We cannot wait to see the return of Wrecking Crew in Edmonton in a few weeks time. This next story is a short but important one. Jeff Cook, former driver of War Wagon and the founder of the International Master Truck Museum and Hall of Fame, has been diagnosed with colon cancer. He has been in and out of the hospital the last couple of weeks. If you'd like to donate to his GoFundMe page to help him and his family out with their medical expenses, we've linked their GoFundMe in the description of this video. And we at Miles to Talk would like to send our prayers to Jeff and his family during this time. And well, that is all we have for you today. For up-to-date event information, as well as in-depth and exclusive news stories, be sure to check out our website at masterstalk.com.au. A link is in the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon with some more Monster Truck content.